This podcast is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash belly and use code helixpartner20. This is their best offer yet and it will not last long with Helix. Better sleep starts now. And the night is long (laughs) and the day is long too. (laughs) Right. (laughs) And we go. To the store, stand by me. Yeah, I think something like that, right? So that's it. Yeah, (laughs) that's it. Nailed it. The light is gone. Whatever. But anyway, stand by. I've never seen Stand by Me. Really? No, you should watch. Let's guess who's in it then. Susan Sarandon. Yes. Is he? She plays a dead body. (laughs) Oh, he. he, That's a guy or girl? (laughs) Susan Sarandon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is a large male. (laughs) So we're the boys. The boys. But let's go, boys. Okay. Um, Sean Penn. The little boys. Oh, they're little boys. Yeah, yeah. It was Um, filmed in the eighties. Maybe. And took place in the 1950s, but this 1980s. Okay, right. um, um, Emilio Estevez. As a little boy. That's a good guess. It is a good guess. Charlie Sheen. Well, well, well Emilio Estevez was in... Um, Outsiders. Outsiders, and he was an adult. I mean, he was in his early 20s then. Well, that's when, like, 40-year-olds played 16-year-olds. Like, Rizzo <laughs> and <Chris. laughs> Remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I just thought I like, in high school everyone was gonna look like Rizzo. I was like, damn, that's like <laughs> when do we like you know I remember Wait, that. how old was Rizzo? Early hundreds. I mean she was <laughs> literally on her last egg and she was like, I'm pregnant. I'm like, you're not. And I love Stalker Chain. I get I love her, but like she was not 18. Yeah. Yeah. So um the bo- I, I I River Phoenix yep. was yes, one. River Phoenix was a boy okay. there. And then that other kid that was in um Star Trek Next Generation. He played, we, uh, right? What's his name? Will Wheaton. Patrick Will Wheaton. Stewart. Will Wheaton. <laughs> Patrick Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a Feldman, Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman was in it. Yes, yeah, yes, Corey yes. Yeah, Corey Feldman. Yes. And there's a fat one. There's always a fat kid. Yeah, but you know who that is? Who? Married to Rebecca Romaine. Was or is? Is right now. I thought you Jerry would, O'Connell. Yeah, I thought you would have <laughs> <laughs> Dead air for yeah, 30 yeah, 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 Sorry. For a split second, I was like, Jerry John Stamos? O'Connell. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's what I was like, wait, John Stamos, right? Jerry O'Connell. That, so he grew up to be buff man. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. did. Yeah. He did. Were you a fat kid? Uh, no, I was a very, very skinny kid. Were you cute? As a kid, I was. You want to see a picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had yeah. blonde hair. Um, I had big eyes. I looked like a Powerpuff girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, little gay Mateo. Oh, Dude. you're gay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and really gay in this photo oh, yeah. too. When I mean, oh, please well, don't make this in- about me coming out. It's enough. We heard. I'm it. not gonna don't ask about that. Shit. It's like when I go on dates and like someone's a Mormon. They're like, "Well, I, my family's Mormon." I'm like, I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, don't care. Have time anymore. I don't even care that you're gay or not gay or not whatever. <laughs> I Wait, thought, I wasn't even gonna ask that. But I was so gonna ask. <laughs> are coming out stories just out? It's no, it, it's it's. It's just like I've been on a billion podcasts where people are like, tell me about coming out. I'm like, I didn't. I don't I'm care like, I'm not gay. You... There. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, not not gay. Out. <laughs> I'm so sick of talking about it. I'm not gay. Jesus Christ. It was great. Everything went really well, and high school was a blast. Yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. do you want me to say? <laughs> Woo! Enraged. Oh, Let's so move good. on with our lives. Uh, <laughs> My God. Okay. I, was, I should uh, talk what, about that on stage. That's kind of funny. But tell you, I, that, very funny. I wasn't even going to ask about that, right? Okay, sorry. But I'm more curious about... But, but, but you've probably been asked this too, then. I'll answer it. I, uh, you probably been asked this. Intro? And I'm Wait. already down this road, if so I'm going to go down the road. Do intro. Wa- intro first? I'll do the intro after this. Okay. I, but if you do want to talk about coming out, I will. I don't want to talk about coming out. <laughs> okay, great. I don't give a shit. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, you know what <laughs> I, mean? I think you do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> you should ask him about his. I, 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 you should I, ask him about his coming out. Oh. What, do you think I'm gay? No. I, but I've had tendencies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Confused. What do you mean? That's modest. I don't like that. That's, That's modest. modest. That's modest. <laughs> Wait, what were you going to ask? You're going to say. I was going to say, um, ah, forget it. Let's move no. on.
podcast. I'll sneak it in later. That's okay. right. We'll figure out. I will go. I'm going to go to a different road, right? But sometimes you go back on the old road. That's what I just did with my Uber driver calls. The roads are closed. I <laughs> get here and I had to walk half a mile. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I don't care. I just can't believe how hot it is over here. It's it was pretty like, hot. Fuck. Okay, yeah. It's another heat wave. Can you another. bump the AC just a little yeah, bit? Bump it up for Mateo, okay? So anyway. Um, <laughs> sorry, Mateo. <laughs> so I want to, um, let's bring here. him up. Um, so um, you just had, recently had a special. I did. Yeah. Um, I don't watch any specials, but I saw the Same. poster. Yes, yeah, called Hair Plugs and Heartache. Yeah, yeah. Talk and, about my hair plugs. And then where was it released? YouTube? Uh, I released it on YouTube. Good. I wanted to originally call it Netflix Says No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but my manager was like, I don't think that's a good idea. I still think it's funny. It's funny. That is funny. Yeah, yeah. And and I, um, it just makes me, I want to say your name, but I'm just saying, it just kind of makes me so angry when someone like you, who's like a power, you're a fourth. Bottom. <laughs> 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 Sorry, <laughs> I clinched. Anyway, um, a little bit, just a little bit. But um, a power like you, right? Like I would just assume that everybody would want to clamor to get your special. And I, I haven't had much uh, love from the industry, which is okay because now I've carved out a career for myself, you know. But I just, it, I know I don't get casts and stuff. I don't projects I try and sell. No one, it's like it's not. They're, I'm not. They're, no one's in love with me over there. I mean, especially Netflix. Like we tried four times to tell sell a version of that special to them, mm. and every time they were just like, it's not right for our audience. We just don't think this is. You know, they kept coming back with. So I was like. It's not relatable. And I was like, okay. Then I made a decision. I'm like, I'm just going to do it myself. I called Schultz like two years ago. Yeah. And I was like, what do I do? Like, I can't pay rent. I don't sell tickets. Like, this is embarrassing. And he talked to me for like three hours and was like, here's what you're going to do. Here's the clips. Here's this. And I just followed everything Andrew told me. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's crazy what's wow. happened in two years. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. So because now I'm just like, I don't really, now I feel like, you know, I have, I've, I have I like my life. You're killing it. Thanks. And I'm gonna say something. I we were in Indianapolis. That's where we saw you, right? That was so much fun. It was so much fun. And um, you were doing a show in Indianapolis. In, in we were doing shows right next to each other. Mm. To, I was in some. I was in the Egyptian room, which looks like the set of like the Prince of Egypt, the Mariah Carey, <laughs> Whitney Houston duet, you know. And then <laughs> you. <laughs> You guys were right next to me. Yeah. But that was one of my favorite comedy moments was getting off stage, performing, and then running just across the hallway and going on stage with you guys. It was such a fun, cool, like, comedy moment. And you fucking killed it. And in my mind, I remember being on stage with you going, oh, my God, this guy's a fucking force. Thanks. He's like, he... Because, I mean, we've had guys come up on stage and then three minutes in... They just walk off. Right. They just Because <laughs> they feel like they're being they're drowning or whatever. Right. right? But you weren't like that. You were like, no, here I am. <laughs> you know what I mean? And Well, because I, it's a very, it, it's like you guys ask for questions, but it creates this sort of hostility. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's like a battle happening. Be, and no matter who asks a question, like Mother Teresa could come back to life and we'd be like, the old bag. Like it just was like, <laughs> yeah. it was so, you know. And so that I'm I'm very comfortable in that environment. Anyway, give a round of applause. Mateo Lane, everybody. <laughs> Ciao. Yeah, so um, you're going to Australia tomorrow. I do. I You've go to Australia. never been there before? No. Oh, my God. What part? I'm going to Melbourne, Brisbane, and Sydney. I've never eaten more than I've eaten in Melbourne. That's what everyone says. They said that it's like an amazing eating city. It's very European. Lots of Italians, gays. I'm like, oh, I like Great I'm coffee. Good time. Yeah. Really good coffee. I hate traveling and getting bad coffee. There's nothing pisses me off more than ordering a latte and they bring it to you in a tall cup. So it's mm -hmm. just 90% mm -hmm. foam and then the what I want, the espresso is on the bottom. <laughs> Insufferable. <laughs> yeah. Well, just order an espresso then. No, espresso. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He hasn't learned that in a lot. What do you mean? Es <laughs> You've been saying espresso. We keep trying to tell you it's espresso. but Yeah, but can I just, why would you even correct me? <laughs> Wait, why would we correct you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, when I said espresso, yeah. right, did you understand what I was saying? No. <laughs> Not oh, language. So that's what it was. Language no, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Language so barrier. Espresso. Yeah, espresso. Right. Um, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and I apologize. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> it's a way of the Italian stuff. I'll get very... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, coming yeah. in hot today. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. I like me, it. Bobby. <laughs> no, this is what I like. The roads okay. were closed. Yeah, I yeah, get it. Oh, yeah, I closed. walked half a mile. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so hot. Um, but so you didn't know what it meant. But um, anyway, why don't you order an espresso? Because... I 
because sometimes in the morning, like what I usually try and do when I'm on the road, I, I like Google really good coffee shops because mm. I want in the ceramic cup, a, like a latte or a mm. cappuccino and like maybe a design or whatever. And someone who sort of hates me because I'm not woke enough making it for me. And <laughs> that's how I like my coffee. So oh, you like design. It's, fu it's, pr it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. It's, what you yeah. like design on the foam? Yeah. Yeah, but usually that means it's going to be made in the the right like the right proportions. Yeah. It's not going to be too tall of a cup or something. You I know what know. I didn't like about Batman? Which one? The the newest one. <laughs> with, oh, with Can I just uh, tell you about the Batman? With the guy from Twilight? Y no, Robert. Yeah, right. The okay, Twilight yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, what I didn't like about it is, you know, when the Riddler did you just see it? I saw half of it cuz I got bored quickly. <laughs> I just couldn't tell. Okay, I was like, what is fine. this? What do we do? <laughs> What are, what it's just are we enough doing? already. Like Lisa Traeger has a joke. She's like, "It's seventy years of Batman. Like it's just enough." Like <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, and I agree with her. I'm like, every time they're like a new Batman movie, I'm like, we get it. He's mad. His parents are dead. He's very rich, and he lives with a. F I don't know what else you want me to say. Like this, I'm so yeah, yeah, bored. Yeah, the yeah. only good Batman is the one with Uma Thurman and Arnold Schwarzenegger because it's schlock and shitty. And it's like, wow. this is really kind of what Batman should be. The Joel Schumacher thin. version. The Joel Schumacher yes. version. Okay, okay. They so. keep just giving that man movies. Like, More money. I can't get a special, but Joel Schumacher <laughs> fucked up at the box office and wasted billions of dollars. Like, yeah. more. Yeah. Well, um, I'm going to finish my thought then. Sorry. I'm it's sorry. okay. Okay. So... You didn't like it, but um, I was re-watching it the other day. Got it. Bored. <laughs> I've seen it 40 times. Okay. And um, it's my, my, one of my favorites. And um, The newest. The newest one is one I of I just favorite. like the genre. Like, I just like that genre. Right. I mean, that type of, that superhero mm -hmm. specifically. Is that something straight guys relate to? Like the sort of like mysteriousness <laughs> of like what the bachelor mean? life? I don't know what it is about Batman. Like I could give two shits about Batman. And I, I'll, I'll tell you why I think ba Batman is popular. Yeah. He doesn't, he's just a regular dude. He doesn't have any he's power. He's not that right? regular. But he's not. He's no, in terms billionaire. of, he doesn't have like, powers, shoot powers, like powers. flames out of his eyeballs and right. like but that spider webs out of his butthole. That makes him boring. Right? Uh, what? That makes him more boring. It, okay. You don't really fly. Who's <laughs> making these contraptions? He I don't is. know. And, but I don't like Superman because he has, either. But he has billions of dollars. Right. So, right, so he doesn't make... A, like, so he's just a modern Wayne, playboy. In, Wayne Enterprises. There's a division in Wayne Enterprises. Am I not right? The R&D. Oh, the yeah. R&D. Thank you so much. And they have the money. And they just... He has a dude... Like Q or whatever. Morgan like, Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Morgan Freeman. Freeman. Yeah. What's his name? I don't know. Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Freeman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's call him Mr. You know Mosley. I like um, <laughs> just because I like he looks like a Mr. Mosley. Yeah, I yeah. really loved the original <laughs> Batman animated series, the one from like the early nineties. W B. Uh, yeah, 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 so yeah. Good, yeah. That the first few seasons of that I thought were uh, Yeah, because you really like good. things colorful. <laughs> That's a nice and you like thing. I'm light, <laughs> right? And you like things to frolic. Wait, what don't you like about Batman? What do you mean? I didn't say I didn't like it. I thought you said, you know what I don't like about Batman? I'm going to go. What was about the espresso thing? The fucking phone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just wanted to go do the foam thing, and it became this. I'm sorry, you can't express yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to put you in position. Play on words. Okay, so here we go. Right. Stupid. Let's go back now. Okay? okay. So the Batman. Right. So. The Riddler gives himself out, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Right, and now he's just at a diner, yep. right? right? He, he orders one a cappuccino. Am I saying it right? Yeah. <laughs> and he orders a cappuccino, right? And he knows that the FBI and the feds, I think like thousands of dudes are like gonna, because uh, he, he wants, he's, he planned this to get caught. But he's sitting there doing a, something on his, right? That, and he makes that. It's too perfect. What's perfect what about it? That, that question mark. Yeah. Oh, the design itself? And then because he's like, this is where in the Batman movie you couldn't suspend your belief. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I was out after this. The, I mean, you literally <laughs> I mean, said the man the, pressure. the Riddler, and then you're like, but the, <laughs> the foam. <laughs> it's just too perfect. You know what I mean? It'd be better if it was like kind of like, oh, I think I know what that is. Yeah, but you know how stupid audiences are. They're going to be like, I don't understand what I'm looking at. Oh, like they right. need to be like. That's you right. Know, That's what it is. Okay. 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 You should have well, done a one upside down one for the Latinos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So let's just move on. So um, in the morning. <laughs> so in the mornings. So early in the mornings when you're in your hotel, you like to order um, espressos. Oh, I mean uh, lattes. Yeah. That's, that's what the point was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you like the foam, and you like the designs on the top. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, that's that's you. <laughs> <laughs> it's that whole journey. 
Do you know that that really is me? <laughs> like, there's nothing more gay and anal about wanting certain kind of lattes in the morning, and that's just who I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's you. So, um, but <laughs> <laughs> he's a Starbucks guy. Oh no, Star- not Starbucks. Why? Oh. You know what's funny? I took they, they opened up a Starbucks in Rome, in Rome, Italy. Yeah. Took my Crazy. friend Francesco Di Carlo, who's an Italian comedian, he's great. We went there. He's never been to Starbucks. So when we go inside, he goes, You know what is um strange? I go, what? He goes, that there is coffee being made and I don't smell it. <laughs> oh like, wow. That's very true. That is very true. Yeah. That's oh, they must they, they must hate Starbucks over there. Well, well no, they no. loved it. Tell Mateo what you used to do with a coffee grinder when you used to work at the... Well, <laughs> in a part of Los Angeles. Is yeah. that what this San is? San Diego. Okay. Oh, San Diego. I lived okay, in San great. Diego. Who gives a shit about and, a coffee shop in San Diego? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell you want? It's a shit. No, I stole from Michael's and I got uh, fired. And the Wait, Michael's? Yeah. But you were an employee when you stole? Yes, yes. I was oh, working. Wow. Ooh, that, that's different. I just used to steal from every shop at the mall but i was never an employee oh yeah i was i was taking them down from the inside mm, i like that i respect that but wait so you made espresso no, stop, but are you guys done <laughs> yes i'm sorry because <laughs> no, like michael's is really overpriced well it's also like only visited by like women in their early hundreds coming to return <laughs> a bead you know what i mean a bead. <laughs> one no so we I had to do something to fill some kind of thrill of life so i would steal <laughs> and i'd have my friends steal too they would like like bag up shopping carts and like it was so full and then I would just swipe their student ID and f- print a fake receipt and, just, and then go to But they just fired you? That's it? Nothing else? Uh, yeah, but also I was fired by my manager who in July wore scarves because she was trying to cover her hickeys all over her neck. So <laughs> there's no real respect there. You know, she has no dignity. What was the main item you stole from Michael? I, I may mean, name it. Why? Uh, uh, well, the one that I got caught was a Winnie the Pooh cake pan. <laughs> I didn't even need it or want it. I just wanted to steal it. I dated a girl there. Her name was Francesca. She's married with a pit bull now. But um, (laughs) anyway, barista. (laughs) Yeah, barista Bob. Tell us your story. Fucking laughing at man. I got this. I'm in control, dude. (laughs) Right. Yeah, we're going to all the I love Am it. Am I a chaos way. agent? Am I ruining this podcast? No, oh. this, this oh. is what I love. Okay. I want to say this. I'm having, I'm having a blast. You know what I mean? In fact, if you were the guest every time, I would love it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Great. So um, let me, can I go back to... Barista Bob. Yeah, this is like a Tarantino movie. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get back to Francesca with a pit bull at some point. Though. Great. No, I don't. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, well, he runs the ship, so okay. oh, let's do maybe it we don't. You're right. That no, we no, don't... I want Barista Bob You're first. the co-host. Barista Bob goes first. Okay. Anyway, we had an uppity clientele. Okay. Um, we had this lady named the Mocha Lady. Um, and then we had another lady named Make It Fresh. And Make It Fresh was like, um, you know, the person before her, can I have a latte? So you'd foam milk. You use half of it. Yeah. And then she would order a latte. But she's like, dump that and make it fresh. Oh, so she's make it. Got it. Why? Because she just wanted her own. She wanted to see her own milk being and after like a month of every morning, make it fresh, or the mocha lady complaining about some fucking bullshit, right? One morning I snapped <laughs> and I went crazy and I took four cockroaches, I put it in the espresso grinder, and I ground all the espressos with the cockroach. Barista Bob. Barista Bob. And so um, I'm sure people got sick. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. sure. What, what is this? I can't believe you would. Do that. Are that's, you being real? I'm that so, Are you out of your mind? That's disgusting. I know it is. You put cockroaches in an espresso grinder and you're asking me if I'm out of my mind? <laughs> <laughs> Just give her decaf and call it a day. No. no. Jesus. You got to get revenge. Christ. You got to get revenge. But then I read this thing that says if your coffee is made from pre-ground beans, there's a pretty good chance you're drinking up ground up cockroaches. And I already knew this fucking That according to one scientist who revealed that entomologists who work with cockroaches often develop like an allergic reaction to insects and at the same time have develop an allergic reaction to pre-ground coffee. So most of pre-ground coffee does have a cockroach ratio. But like, how much though? Like it's not like twenty-five percent. <laughs> not uh, barista Bob percent. Yeah, this was four hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. It, it was yeah. like, oh my God, did she drink it? What? Well, everyone drank it. Oh, oh well, every- you can't just grind and and go. Okay, I'm going to switch it out. Make it fresh. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, 
Oh, uh, it's fine. So it's, fi- it, <laughs> it's like a step away from a Saw movie. Like, <laughs> I know. It's so disgusting. But you have to also imagine that happens all the time everywhere in right. every restaurant. And we have, we're not privy to it. We don't know anything but about it. Like, that's why you have to be – I mean, you should be nice anyways, but I'm always nice to, like, staff or if you go into a coffee shop, hello, how are you? You know, you try and talk. and. Yeah, my thing is, too, is, like, people go, why did you tip more at this restaurant – when they were so mean to you. And I go, there's so- several things. I don't want them to pee in my food. And also number two, right, I, I'm gonna, I wanna come back here. I like this food. So maybe the next time I come back, they're like, oh, hey, there's a little Asian guy that tips well, right? Uh, there's, there's, you know, a theory behind it. It's not like I'm being crazy. Everybody, it's Helix, Helix sleep, sleep for your for sleepy, sleepy time. time. It's Helix Helix Sleep. Sleep. You guys, I have a bunch of beds in my house. The only bed I use is Helix. I'll tell you why. It's the best in the market. Okay? The Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, including the award-winning Lux Collection, Mm. the newly released Helix Elite Collection, a mattress designed for big and tall sleepers. You, You know who you are. And even a mattress made just for kids. I have something to admit. Admit it. George and Gilbert know I have a problem. Yeah. I have a Helix mattress collection obsession. It's like Pokemon cards. I maybe have, I'm up to eight mattress. I just like having them. I, you know, to me, <laughs> you're, I think, you know what? You're I don't right. even have eight bedrooms, but I have eight Helix yeah. mattresses. It's, it's you're, rude. You're, you're, you're right. People have baseball cards. Yeah. Some people have Pokemon. I have Helix Sleep. <laughs> Same with me. Yeah. All you have to do is take the Helix sleep quiz. And for example, me, since I am a side sleeper and I run a little hot, I was matched with a midnight mattress, but I chose the Lux version. So it's a little bit oh um, my thicker. God. And what are you, I'm, the queen of Egypt? I am. How did oh you know? God. Anyway, go ahead. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash belly and use the code HELIXPARTNER20. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. You know? Yeah, because at one time at BCD Tofu House, the guy literally handed us our sundubu, which is like <laughs> boiling hot, right? Okay. And he, he threw it like a frisbee. <laughs> like, like, bowl he, like, of soup. He, he just went, slid it across. That's how they serve you food in Delta now. They just hold the tray at the front of the plane. <laughs> <laughs> They're just so over the jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Bobby tipped him like so much, hundred bucks. Yeah, good form on that frisbee throw. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and I gave him like a, a lot of money. Well, you have third degree burn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here's an extra hundred, buddy. Yeah, I always go there. You he know? didn't even give eye contact. He was like this. Yeah. <laughs> I remember my brother and I went to a Korean place and they they made these like fish cakes, right? And it was one of those things where they had all this menu and then the bottom, someone had written, we have fish cakes too, where they bake it in this thing, put red bean. But you could tell that they don't ever make it. No one ever requests it. But my brother and I requested it. And I remember them getting the batter out and it took them like 20 minutes to make it because they had to turn on the thing and they were flustered. And it tasted like shit, oh. right? And we threw it away, and we waited in line, and we ordered more, just so that we could watch them. <laughs> what is your cycle? <laughs> You're like the Riddler, dude. <laughs> so fucking weird. <laughs> Was that you? Who put the question mark in that coffee. <laughs> and you my really brother and I were like cackling in line, like ah! that. That I can get behind. Yeah, it was so <laughs> fun. It's so fun when that when that happens. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. So I, I tip well, but I get I get what you're saying. You know, I get it. What were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of similar to how you, when you get your car from valet at a hotel, you go around like 18 times. Yeah, I do that too. And we just wave at the we, valet. I don't know. It's a game he likes to play. It's really strange. This is some LA talk. I'm like, LA. <laughs> <laughs> I live in New York. I don't even have a license. You don't, you don't have a license? No, it's expired. I'm going to get it again. But it was like, I don't, who drives in New York? I know, but you don't, do you know how to drive? Yeah, yeah. I grew up in how, Chicago. I know how to drive. How do you know? How do we know that? But I <laughs> test them right now. <laughs> That's a good point. I mean, you, you had a license in Chicago? I did. It expired. But okay. then in New York, they're like, to get a, your license. Uh, a new license, you have to have your social security card. I didn't have my social security card, and then trying to get it. I mean, the whole process is so fucking annoying. But I literally just got my social security card and just got my state ID. So I'm going to go I take the driver's test to get my license. Again? Oh, shit. I don't have to drive. Just answer questions. Oh, okay. Um, That's right. You're from Chicago because your grandfather married Esther Povitsky's 
parents. Oh, that's right. What? what? Yeah. Yeah. That's a that. fact. yeah, my grandpa's blind. He's a judge. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> So that's not wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. It is. Yeah. Stop, 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 stop. Is this stop. Mad Libs? <laughs> yeah, stop, stop. Uh, I, I, think, I think I heard everything wrong. <laughs> say, say what you, or, think. Right, you so, heard it right. No, so your, your dad, a judge? My grandpa. Your grandpa's a judge and he's blind? Mm -hmm. he well, that's how five. Esther even found out that it was your grandpa because Esther used to tell a story about her parents were married by a blind judge. And then you spoke about your grandpa and she was like, wait a second, I think Mateo's grandpa is who married my parents. And sure enough, that's what happened. Wow. wow. Connections. I know. Things just, you know, Riddler. intercede. Riddler, Riddler did. He went blind that's at five, five what? years old. He did? Yeah. Did you know him? At five. <laughs> <laughs> well, in general, he could have died when you were... Actually, my, so my blood grandfather, he's my adopted grandfather. My blood grandfather is Mexican. And um, he had five kids with my grandma and five kids with another woman and named them all the same names. What? <laughs> so, I don't know my Mexican family, but I am yeah. Mexican. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. So Wait, I, they named the five the same as the other five? Yeah, there were two Joaquins, two Lisa. <laughs> then somehow my grandma got my Uncle Jack's name from Joaquin Change Jack. That's some Italian shit. I don't know how she did it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Italy. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but anyway, so then my grandma remarried a Sicilian, my blind grandfather. And he they had two more kids together. When they married, was he blind then? Yeah, he was blind at five. He got sick at five years old. Yeah, but how do you get pussy at, when you're blind? You're smart. Okay. Judge. <laughs> I understand that, but even judge. if I was a judge, like I wouldn't even go to school if I was blind. So people who are blind should just sit at home twiddling their thumbs. That's, <laughs> that's exactly what you're saying. No, I'm just saying me. <laughs> how dare him I'm try like, and I'm get pussy? Now. <laughs> I feel like I... I no, no. You son of you bitch. blind. <laughs> also referring to my nana as just pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like you fucking psycho. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh my God! I'm, let's let's go back. I apologize. No, you know what? You know here's what. No, no. Here's where we go. Here we go. I'm back. Okay. I, 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 I'm back. How many commercial breaks are you taking in your head? You're like I'm back. All right, I'm back. I'm back. We're back, everybody. We've been I'm, here the whole time. I, I, I'm here again. Okay, great. I'm here again, and I'm focused and ready to go. Okay. okay. So here's my, what I want to say. Uh -huh. okay. I want to apologize to you. You don't have to apologize. I, I, it's I, funny. May I? Sure. May I? <laughs> Can I go back to the very beginning of the what the entire podcast? No, the thing I was going to say in the beginning. Okay, yeah, because I was thinking about that the whole time. Say it. Oh God, when did? <laughs> what are you back? Yeah, okay, here we go. And we're back. I, <laughs> I wish I could have just said this back in the beginning because now I'm so self conscious because I believe I feel like that a million people have asked you this question, <laughs> right? And I'm just going to do it anyway. Okay. okay. So when did you think that you, when no when you were okay? <laughs> <laughs> Literally the one thing. <laughs> oh, <sorry>. uh, <laughs> when <laughs> about about seven minutes ago. <laughs> Oh, I see. That's good. So, that's yeah. good. That's good. That's good. That's nice. Yeah. We're good information. Yeah. It's yeah. not like I'm an X Men where I'm a mutant and I discover my powers <laughs> at 13. I know. Just I like, know. when did you know you were, well, you're a difficult one to ask. When did you know you were straight? I don't think I am. <laughs> I'm, I that's why I'm asking oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when I was born. There you but go. I I see. Same thing. Uh, it, I, uh, what? Wait a second. I want to go back to a couple of Tiger Bellies ago where like you fought Gilbert and I about blindness and how you thought that <laughs> being a blind photographer like was an impossible thing to be. Yeah. Well, that's a, I mean, a blind photographer. Is, that's worth stressing. There are a couple other jobs that he said was were impossible. I didn't say judge, thing. though. Judge. No, judge you can do. I mean, you know. Yeah. It's like, it's what other ones were you like? You can hear the gavel. I mean. <laughs> but my, yeah, I mean, that's fine. Yeah. But, um. Oh, yeah, that I don't think that a blind person could be a NASCAR driver. <laughs> you never know, actually. Well, I don't think normal people can be a NASCAR driver. <laughs> I mean, could we know. find jobs that more normal people could Wait do? Wait a second. Like, I listened to this um, episode of This American Life where this guy. That show's still going on? Yeah. Yeah. The NPR show? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Here we are. Uh, so today, it's like it's enough. <laughs> Christ Almighty, it's enough already. This guy's the best. Sorry. This well, the these this guy was going blind, but he had a dream of always being in like a demolition derby. But then he 
kind of fulfilled his dream. He went into a demolition derby and he was a blind guy, but he was like a driver. So I think, you know, you're wrong about that. Okay, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. You know, my grandpa, uh, he's obsessed with uh, sports and the White Sox and he got to announce a game. And what they did is they brought him in and they had someone speaking in his ear what was going on and that he was able to talk oh, on what was going on. Remarkable. So that was kind of cool. Yeah. You should do a documentary about him. I know. Well, people have approached him. I should. He's just, you know. He's still alive? Yeah, yeah. My cra- Italians don't die. They're going to live forever. <laughs> but I tell, I'm telling you right now, you should direct and do a documentary about him. Well, you know, What's an maybe amazing- I should get a Netflix special first and then <laughs> I can direct. Well, can I just, I, I want to go back to that, all right? Here's the deal, dude. You think that I have had love from the industry? I guess, My whole career has been like that. No, I know. I'm just saying it's like when you're saying like, why aren't you this? And it's like, well, I, it's out of my control, you know? I, I, yeah, me too. Yeah, I yeah. feel I, you're right and you're right. I shouldn't even ask that, all right? But what, I'm, what I want to say to you is, is, though, that what I love about this new age is we can just go direct to the people. Yeah. You know, and the t- people have spoken. Yeah. You know, and um, one day the middlemen are are going to be gone. Well, you know what I love about it is that like it, you find like the the more you have a career for yourself, the more you realize that comics aren't competitive with one another. We support and love each other. It was other people telling us to be pit against each other. Right. So get rid of those people and <clears throat> we can be happy for all of our friends' success. Yeah, I, I find that to be very interesting. Like I I love the fact that like, you know, I could see you in an airport and and we we could talk and chat and feel like oh my god here's a long lost friend that I haven't seen in a long time, I do feel that like last night I was with the Are You Garbage Boys I love that was one of the most fun podcasts I've ever I was complete garbage yeah no <laughs> I was when I told him about my Mexican grandpa and I have an uncle younger than me because he kept having kids and growing up with no money they were like you're trash and I was like <laughs> I'm total yeah. trash yeah but we saw H Foley and um. Kevin last night in Austin, mm-hmm. and um, they, I just, I feel, I've only hung out with them like two or three times in my life, but there's already a, just a comfortable, family-like vibe. When I met Santino, we had never met each other, and we did some horrible festival in Mexico together, and just immediately, friends. Immediately yeah. friends. Yeah, Immediately yeah, yeah. Say, say, it's like, that's what I love about comics. You know what I mean? Also going to airports, anytime it's a Friday and I'm at an airport, I'm like, well, who am I going to run into today? Yeah, it's Which so Which comedian am I going to run into today? Yeah. There is no, but you know, it's very competitive in the open mic t- t- era. World. Yeah. I. You know, it's so funny. Open mic, the world of open mics and how they work, especially in New York, it just, this sort of ch- cycles and changes every five to 10 years. Mm. So like what I was doing when I was at open mics, you know, 12 years ago is probably the complete opposite of what's happening today. Right. I mean, did you like pass out flyers? And you, you, No, I never barked. I never barked and I never barked, did right? paid shows. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I always uh, I always did. Uh, I was at the Creek of the Cave when it was in New York City. And mm. that was a great place for comics who couldn't get stage time to just experiment and meet other comics and have a community. Um, and then I would only do shows if I was asked to be on them or you know, if I was past at a club or something, but I never, I never stood on the street and barked and I don't, there's nothing wrong with doing that. I just, for me, I just didn't. Yeah. I mean, when I played the Laugh Factory, when they had one in New York, he got, Jamie Masada goes, hey, I want you to headline. I'll fly you out. And I go, okay. I fly out there. He goes, you sold no tickets. And I go, okay. And he goes, this Asian girl in you are going to pass out flyers. That's yeah. right. And it was Asa Akira, the porn star. Oh, really? She was in high school then. She wasn't a porn star then. Was she doing stand-up? No. No. She was just like, I need a job. Oh. So her and I would go out in the streets. This is many, many, many years ago. And we would just sell. Was like, it on 42nd Street? Where was that? I don't even remember, really. Yeah. I just remember being angry. Yeah. That I had, should I had, be. That I had That's to, kind of fucked yeah, up. Yeah, to, and I had to vocalize when you're up the, out there. I'm Bobby Lee. I'm on, I was on Mad TV. I'm Bobby Lee. I'm on a TV show. Come... Oh That's my god! It was so that humiliating. Is yeah. so humiliating. So her and I, I just, just went said, shopping. I'll fly back home. <laughs> I know, but back then, no, I know. I, I had to do it. it. I had to yeah. do it mm-hmm. because he he owns a club in L.A. Right. He owned one in Hawaii at the time, so I'm like, oh my. Now god. I had, they have one in Chicago. Yeah. I remember that was the big deal. We waited to do an open mic there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For like two hours, it was like a line at Disney World to go up and bomb for six people. So you started in Chicago. Yeah. Yeah, Did you yeah. ever play the Schomburg Improv at all? Ever? Um, I, I've never. No, I actually never played that. I never played Zanies either. Wow. Well, I, I did play Zanies like as a showcase, like being on the showcase or whatever. But Bert, who used to book it, ugh, he. Um, <laughs> 
China. He got mad at my agent for something that I didn't, the agent I don't even work with anymore. And he was like, well, then your client Mateo is never working here again. So I never wow. worked Zanies, but I'm doing the Chicago theater in a couple weeks. So. Yeah. Wow. Sold okay. out. Yes. Sold out. I know. It's unbelievable. I'm so excited. It's so unbelievable. Dude. I, and I'm, my whole family's coming. I have like 34 first cousins and they're all going to be there and they're meeting my husband. They've not met him yet. So he's going to be completely attacked all at once. That's, I can't wait. Dude, I'm wait, they haven't met your husband yet. No, we just got married. Only my mom and dad have met him because we did a city hall wedding, which is right like there. getting married at Oh, you know, whoa, you guys jail. are so hot. He's so hot. Oh, my God, oh you guys are so too hot. Well, we're dressed like gay club owners in 1978. <laughs> like, we've just done cocaine. But, um, but you guys are so cool. I know. Yeah. I love him so much. There he is, Rodrigo. What is he? Mexican from Mexico. You're Mexican. Yeah. It's working. Yeah. <laughs> I look like a deli worker, working. but you know, yeah. Yeah. Is that a one piece, the red? No, it does look like a one piece, but yeah. it's a two piece. But it, Whoa. It, it's, yeah. It's, well, how did you guys meet? We met on Instagram. Oh. Who's I, DM? Me, hey, I'm desperate. I, I mean, look at him. Of course I was the first one going to message him. He he was doing these videos like, you know, these like almost soft core porn videos. Now people do like, get ready with me in the yeah. morning. And they're in their underwear <laughs> You know, anyway, so I was just going through my explore page. I think I was on a plane and uh, I saw him and I was like, oh, I was like, he's so hot. And so then I followed him and then he followed me back. And then I was like, hey, and he was like, hey, and we started chatting and then it just didn't stop. Did he live in New York? Uh, no, he lived in Mexico. So I was we were going back and forth in Mexico and wow. New York. That's such a fun LDR. I know. It was so cute. I'm like, oh. Wait, so oh, he lived in Mexico. You lived in New York. Yeah. Well, let, ex talk to me about the first time you met him. Uh, he came in April to New York for the first time. So yeah. that's where we've, we first met. We've and did you pick? Did you pick him up at the airport? I did. Oh, I that's went all sweet. the way to JF fucking K <laughs> to pick so him sweet. up, which he has no concept of how annoying that is. And um, <laughs> but yeah, he came out, and uh, I just I we went. I've said, and it's so gross because I hate being sentimental. But I when I met him, the first thing I thought was, oh, he's gonna be in my life a very long time, and we fell in love immediately. I know we can we connect very well, and we're all we're interested in. The I, same like things. I like details. I like details. Wait, so how long had you guys been talking before meeting? We started talking in February, so February, March, and then April, and he was like, "Okay, we're Facetiming each other. Good morning, good night. Like we need to yeah. meet." Each other. I was like, "Yeah, come to New York," and he was like, "All right, I'm gonna get a ticket." 100. percent Good morning, good night. Is is you guys are on? Yeah. Did you help buy the ticket or did you buy? No, it? no, he got it. That's that's great. I love that. Why is that so important to you? He does like he's got like modeling jobs and commercial work and stuff in in Mexico. No, he's going to. Uh, 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 why is that important to me? Yeah. Well, I'm just saying if I met somebody oh. right and they were like, "I want to come out," and I'm like, "Okay, you have to buy the ticket," to me, yeah, it would make me feel a little weird. That's all. Yeah, well, he he I was like, that. "Do you want to come to Mexico?" And I was like, "Honestly, I'm still touring, so it would be easier if you could just come to New York. Like, yeah, it would just mm. be so much easier for me." But did you guys? So he gets off the plane, you hug. Yes, I saw. Oh. That's the biggest test, right? Because you can have all of the connection via FaceTime, but then the physical chemistry is the only thing you're yeah. not sure about. Yeah. But when you when you saw him in person, you, you immediately think immediately. Oh my! God. I know. Even touching. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I love him. How long did he stay out the first time? Uh, just four days. Oh, oh that's it. <gasps> did you oh do God. spots? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't <laughs> great, do anything. I was like, at the, <laughs> I wasn't going to be like, I'm bad guy, the spots at the cellar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, what? That would have been, <laughs> <laughs> been terrible. We did have a reception at the cellar because we had a city hall wedding, and I was like, I just told Liz, who's the manager. Of the I love cellar, her. She's the best. She's the best. And I was like, can we just do a reception at the cellar? Thinking the, uh, just a place for us to meet up, they had. A wedding cake they oh made for us. Johnny, one of the waiters, made us a wedding cake, and it was so beautiful. All my friends and it was just a really beautiful day. Wow! Yeah. So sweet. And did you? So the second time now, did you go to Mexico? I went to Mexico. I have a whole I, I have a whole new bit about it, so I don't want to give it away. You don't have to here. give it away. But basically, I was delayed seven and a half hours because of a fucking volcano while I was stuck in the San Antonio airport, which is the <laughs> ugliest people I've ever seen. In my life. <laughs> So it was a nightmare, but I made it. I made it to yeah. Mexico, yeah. Uh, Mexico. Yeah, you haven't been to El Paso, but my point is... <laughs> <laughs> um, so you, 
And then, so you went to Mexico. Mm-hmm. How long did you stay at that time? Uh, I stayed, well, that was two days, and I came back another, a couple weeks, and we sta- I stayed for, like, uh, 12 days or something like that. Wow. Because then my vacation started, and then him and I went to Italy together, so I got to introduce all of my friends and family in Italy, and then we went back to Mexico, back to America, and it just was like, okay, we're in love. Let's did you meet his family when you were in when yeah, Mexico? Yeah, yeah, oh, cool. I know his sister is his, now my niece, uh, his other sister, his mother, his aunt, they were so, and you know what's funny is like, because I... I speak Spanish, but I have like a really thick Italian accent when I speak it. Um, they were just so much more chill than Italians are. Like I was waiting for like them to like kiss me and hug me, and, like, but they were like, "Oh my God, so nice to meet you." I'm like, "Oh, Rodrigo, you're gonna be attacked by my family. <laughs> oh, they're gonna eat you alive." He's like, "No, I'm ready for the more." I'm like, "You're not. You're not ready for it. You're yeah. not. I'm gonna just lose him in a sea of ants. I just don't." Wow. Yeah. I love that though. I love just physical, like swarmed by physical affection. I know. I read this article. It was like, "Don't force your child to hug an adult if they like an uncle or aunt if they." They don't want to like give them their space. I'm like this does not apply to Italians. Yeah, <laughs> there is no personal space in Same an Italian with family. Same yeah. So yeah. for us, it's kind of like you know, especially because you do the beso beso, you still do the kiss on the cheek. I love That's- that it, Tagalog, Tagalog, Tagalog. Yeah, Tagalog is mixed with Spanish. It's oh, yeah. yeah, especially my dialect, Cebuano, is even more Spanish. Really? Yeah. So all of our days of the week, like lunes, martes, miracle. Really? Our numbers are in Spanish. Like um, a table, like la mesa, is the same. Misa, we just yeah. change it a little change bit. Change it a little. Yeah. The dialect in Sicily, there's 34 languages in Italy, and none of them can communicate with each other. <laughs> so everyone has to speak the national language Italian. Yeah. And the Sicilian dialect, like speaking of that, it's like the like if you are fluent in Italian, you cannot communicate with them. Wait, that's exactly how it is in the Philippines. Like the national na- language technically is Tagalog. Right. But a lot of Tagalog people, most of them don't understand my dialect. So there's a lot of miscommunication. But it's, it's heavily Spanish. Yes, it is. Mine is very heavily. Spanish Can I hear because, like an example, like what you did today or something? Um, the sentences <laughs> or like words, the, the like talk. let's do words. Okay, let's shoes, say, right? Like shoes. Yeah, zapatos, zapatos. or tenedor, tenedor. cuchara. Um, wow, what or, else? Or, like or, the, or months or the, the months of the <laughs> year. How like, do you say butter? Is it mantequilla? Uh, no. Then we just say butter. <laughs> yeah, but- butter. butter. Really? <laughs> it's English. Yeah. 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 In Italian, butter is burro, which means donkey in Italian. Yeah. Or donkey in Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so silly. Yeah. Sorry. This is. Sorry. No, I, no, I love sidebar. I'm learning so. No, I love the sidebars. Does yeah. everyone think you're Latina? Always. Yeah. yeah. I think they call us, or Gilbert calls Filipinos, like the Mexicans of the sea. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. We're kind of like, because Magellan first landed in my island specifically, and that's actually where he died. He got... um, Well, there was a some sort of cross-pollination between Mexico and the Philippines at one point. I just read something um, about this. Maybe, but I always thought it was more that we were both colonized by Spain. Well, that For us, so. it was like 300 years. Yeah. So, like, a lot of, like, the cultural stuff is very similar. And, um, yeah, Magellan got slaughtered on my island by, like, a <laughs> tribal guy named Lapu-Lapu. Yeah, but I don't look like this guy. <laughs> oh my god, my there's god. my, my there's god. My I was raped by someone else. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, my god. god dude. Don't mean to ogle, but oh my god. Oh my god. Can I, please, are you kidding me? Just Google or, or um, Google. Google, ogle, whatever you want to call it, all over him. He's Look at him, how hot he is. He's so hot. I should call him right now. Where, 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 does he, he live? He lives, with, he lives with me now. Oh, he does in New York? In New York, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Does he like it or is it? He th- loves it. Good. Oh, my God. He loves New York City. What part, Brooklyn? or? He thinks, no, West Village. Oh. Oh, he really is his next level. Oh, oh my God. His face, level. but his face. His face. Oh, I'm so in love. Okay, if I'm in New York, though, I want to meet him. Yeah, of course. Is that cool? Yeah. I'll call you, whatever. I'll go yeah. have some coffee, coffee, or whatever. We'll get some espresso. <laughs> 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 Meet him like yeah. that. <laughs> oh my god, look at him. And he's my height. Doesn't he kind of you think he looks a little shorter in Seems photos? No, he actually or looks squ- tall. Oh really? Yeah, he looks Yeah. Dude, I he, couldn't tell how tall he was gonna be. And then when I met him, I was like, oh, we're the same height. Yeah, he's just Oh, oh my, my god. god, holy shit, dude. <laughs> Contain I, yourself, Bobby. What? Like, yeah, call him. I'm call yeah, yeah. Him. Does he know Bobby? He just... doesn't know me. Don't don't embarrass me. I'm shy right now. <laughs> I, I look shiny. I'm so sorry, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Rodrigo, right? Mm-hmm. What, what are you preparing? I, I, I don't know what to ask him. I don't know why you're calling him. Oh, hopefully, oh, he was just eating. There he is. Hey, Amore. Oh, he's playing Harry Potter right now. <gasps> oh, oh. I, I love Harry Potter. I, are you playing Harry Potter right now? Put it by the mic, Mateo. Are you playing Harry Potter right now? Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm playing Harry Potter right now. Uh, are you doing all the Merlin trials? <laughs> are you doing the Merlin yeah. trials? Oh, he is, yes. Yeah. Aren't they boring? That's exactly what I'm doing. Exactly. Amore, we're looking at pictures of you about how hot you are. Is there anything you'd like to comment? <laughs> <laughs> Just looking. What? I don't feel like I'm hot. I'm probably... I feel bad right now. Now is not the time. <laughs> oh. Now is not the time to be modest. Okay, <laughs> Rodrigo. Yeah. You'll so. feel hot. <laughs> All right, we'll let, we'll let you go. I love you. I love you. I love you. Don't show any dick pics. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. He's a gamer? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he loves... I'm a gamer. I play but, Fortnite all fucking day. You I'm do? A, I, yeah, and I build. I do competitive. I'm like... I'm obsessed. Oh, I, dude, obsessed. You, I, I love you so much right now. I can't... I am yeah. like completely obsessed with Fortnite. And the new season, I'm so mad that it just came out because I want to play it on my PS5 and I'm playing it on my Switch and it stinks on the Switch. Are you good at Fortnite? I'm really good at Fortnite. But you're, you're not a Call of Duty guy. You're not a Warzone guy. I played Call of Duty uh, for a bit, but I just prefer... like I like the aspect of building in Fortnite. Like That's really a, attractive to me. I love it so much. Wait, 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 what do you mean? What's building? I don't know much. I've never played it before. Is that when you build the stairs and go up there? Oh, yeah. Yes, so yes. like yeah, Fortnite, yeah, yeah. like you have to like collect uh, by chopping down like wood, brick, or metal. Yeah. And then you have like you know your however many mat they call them mats, and um, you have four buttons. So one's like a wall, one's like floor, one stairs, and then one is a cone. And then you can manipulate them too. The environment. Yeah. So, so it's if like, you see a guy up there, you can build stairs. And then yeah, you can build, you can build stairs up and build a wall, protect yourself, wow. cover, edit through the wall. Like it's a the, the it. It keep the more you learn, the more it expands. It's an interesting way Wait, of that playing. seems like something you would actually enjoy. Why have you never tried it? I can't, I can't do it because I can barely because I can't do two things at once. What are you playing? Call of Duty? I, I used to. I'm not even good at that. Well, he's waiting for one that comes out when this weekend. Yeah, but that's not a that's Star, not that type of game. It's Star. Uh, what is Starfield. Starfield. Oh, I don't know Starfield. Star, see, that's it's. I I like RPGs. I love Pokemon. <laughs> I do. I was playing Pokemon Yellow. It's not the plane. same thing, man. It's an RPG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like Fallout. I like yeah, building a character, going out in the world with where I'm not. I don't have a fucking a team. Like or World anything. of Warcraft. Yeah, it's yeah. sort of like that. Yeah, yeah. and it's like I want to be solo and just go on my own. It's so funny. Adventure. Oh, here's me and my friend Jacob playing uh, Call of Duty. Oh, so you do play it? This was just for a video to see gays playing Call of Duty. Actually, if you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you really want to laugh, yeah. I have you can scroll down in my. Uh, you should really all the way to like to the first few videos of my YouTube. Me and Jake are playing Call of Duty. Right, it is so gay and sad how we die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing. I just it's the hardest I've ever laughed in my entire life. We're but, both hiding in a closet. But do you have your own? <laughs> you stream. I was well. That's how I stayed alive during the pandemic. Is I was streaming. Oh wow! That was how I paid rent and paid for food because I had no income and I had no money. So I was literally six hours a day with all my friends playing Fortnite. I had like some of the best memories of playing Fortnite. But I think honestly, let's think about what I'm about to ask you right okay. now. Okay. Will you just really think about it? Okay. Because what I'm going to ask you is is that maybe um you know I could play um Warzone with you guys. <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm not gay, but like I think I, I, I'm we not don't play I, with only gay people. I know, but when I'm on, <laughs> yeah, but when I'm out, when I'm when I'm out there, I just I just have I'm not good. Well, I think we could just be we can die together. First of all, we were more Fortnite, so you should learn Fortnite, and you can play. Uh, but my friend Corey, Donnie, and Simmer, Gavin, all straight. All right, but and I'm they gonna play with me and my friend Nick and Jacob, who are very gay. Well, how many Nick people for a team? How many people in a team? Well, if with more of us, we'll just do two v twos or one v ones, and then we just go on like creative mode and play on a map and. Just <laughs> Yeah, but I don't know how to play it. We'll show I'll you die how. I'll die immediately. We'll teach you how. I'm teaching Rodrigo how to play right now. He's like, I really love Fortnite. I'm like, well, <laughs> get on it. Really? Yeah, yeah. He'll play with us. He's like, but you are so good. I'm like, well, I'm, <laughs> well, you know. Now, how many, char I mean, how many characters are in Fortnite? So they, they're called skins, but we're so gay. For months, we were calling them costumes. And... Uh, <laughs> We were literally, because I, Bob, do you guys know Bob the Drag Queen? And yes. Monet? Okay, so oh my Bob, God, love. Bob is my best friend. He's my in my crew. And uh, we were playing, we were playing and we were like, guys, I'm just going to make a costume change. And Bob goes, they're called skins. We're not in the theater. <laughs> no one's saying take five, thank you five. It's Fortnite. <laughs> I was like, oh, that is very true. Yeah. Wow. I, yeah, I would love to learn it. Yeah. I think it's it's the, the fear is, is that, you know, it's hard to get used to when you play one type of game. Yes. It's just the whole learning process. I fear it. And also, so I don't want to fail online, you know what I mean? But it's like, 
I, I was I was fortunate enough to play it when the, when the world shut down March 2020. Yeah. So I had nothing to do but dream to be a Fortnite superstar. Yeah. So I just spent all day doing it. But now that's it's hard. You, we're touring. That's we're all you did. I know. But this I I got rid of a lot of videos. I just kept okay. If you want to see what the game looks like when it's crazy, yeah. Okay, go to End Game Insanity. Yeah. And then just click like 75 percent of the way through. Okay, what are you just a so this is me, Donnie, and my friend Corey playing. Me. All right, here. Oh, so I. You got me in way too early. I'm with you, Corey. I'm with you, Corey. Just me. I'm with you. Yeah, water. Water it on me. Oh, you got movement. This, and this is when I wasn't even as good. Like, I was still in the midst of learning. But my job was to sort of build walls and protect them and give them health while everything was going down. And there's only like it's how many. There's... Insane. But this is all I did over the pandemic. <laughs> I know. Wow. But then I did funny videos. Like if you click back, I did videos with me and my friend Nick, who's like very mean and gay. And but do they have the thing where like because you're fighting against obvious other people, but yeah, you, you can't hear them. No, you can't. You yeah, can't. no. You, but I've heard. Teammates. But in in, in Warzone, you, for a split second, if you kill somebody, you can hear them. Three for, seconds of their audio. Right. Yeah. I've somebody. I killed somebody, and he goes. Oh, <laughs> I get f it all the time. Oh, you do? And I'm like, how do they know? <laughs> I look like everybody else. How I do you know? But does that make you angry or no? No, I love it. I don't give a uh, shit. Oh, you don't care? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, usually yeah. like a yeah. prepubescent 13 year old who's like struggling to not go to bed. Like, yeah, yeah. I, this is not, <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's more embarrassing, frankly, that I'm on. I'm yeah. 37. <laughs> it is more embarrassing. I'm 52 <laughs> and I'm still great. Doing this. Yeah, thank you. But that is the thing I think the video games is like when we were kids, we were told this mm -hmm. is for kids. But then as we, our generation, as we grow older, it's like, oh no, this is very much for adults and there's a lot of art that goes into it a lot of writing that goes into it and it's a great way to sort of like zone out and experience i don't know i i, I have some of my best memories playing video games um, a lot of people sent me this one picture of one of the fortnite skins and said that they might have actually built the skin around me really her name is like kalia and she has the Ooh. same forearm tattoo <gasps> and Google? she has I like she, i think she's in I think like she tribal yeah, yeah, yeah. attire and this was right around the time like maybe a couple of years ago um but yeah someone and then i was like wait that like, <laughs> this might be a coincidence but with with Whoa. the with the tattoo and everything, but oh, because look at it's her sleeve tattoo. Yeah, and that looks a little bit like it does look like you. Yeah. Oh wow. But her name is a little too close, I think. And her name is Kalia. Kalia, yeah. And, dude, that's you. You think? Yeah, because you're. She's a deep spear person. She's yeah. always in the ocean. Look show her. the tattoo and show your arm. Yeah, so it's arm. this. Oh yeah. And you know, it's. I think she might be like I'm Filipino. She looks ethnic. Um, she has a spear, right? Yeah. It's just and water. Yeah, so that's you. She, yeah, you think? Yeah, except for that pink purse. Let's just <laughs> <laughs> I do let's have not a, talk about yeah, that. Yeah. I don't understand this wooden corset and a pink purse. There's like, probably grenades and stuff in there, no? Some straight person designed this. Clearly, they need more gays on their team. <laughs> so, so Mateo, do you want to? Do you have dreams of acting and stuff? Is are you an actor as well? I would. I did. Uh, I was asked to be in a movie called Max and Molly of the Future, and uh, they're like, "Can you play like a, a, a TV host?" And I went there, and I was like, kind of doing like, "Hello, hi," like that kind of voice. <laughs> and, and the director goes, "Can you?" you be British? I said, of course I can. I <laughs> got to play the biggest asshole. I loved it. So, like, I wanted to just do character stuff because I was like, it's me, Brian. I'm a YouTube guy. Like, yeah. I just, yeah. I told my agent, I said, wow. the only roles that are offered to gays are like, who is like, like bitchy best friend. Yeah. So I said, I don't want to do any of that. I said, I just want to play weird, ugly characters. Like yeah. anything that's a weird character, put me out for. Because wow. I do a lot of impressions. And yeah. I was like, that's, I'm more there. Well, you do impressions then. That's amazing, that voice you just did. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah. Wait, what is the deal what? with um, hair plugs? Oh, I got ha uh, hair transplants a year ago. Oh. oh, Bobby wants the beard transplant. I'm getting that in January. You are? Yeah. Well, you're going to get... I had my post-op with my doctor, and I was like, I just want a little more hair in the back, because it's still a little thin here, and maybe some more here and here. And he, he was like, okay. And then I go, um, uh, I was like, and then I kind of want a beard. He's like, we do that. And, and I go to like the best guy. You have to go to my. If you get it done, you should. It's go not to my a guy, guy in Turkey. He's out here. No, he's in New York. He's in New. Wow. Martin, let me ask you something, okay? My fear is they're gonna put the plugs in, and then I'm gonna go. I don't. I don't like what I look like. Or do they do? You cannot undo it. I don't think. Um. You no. But they probably you show you photos. They probably show you photos. All right. They'll probably go. This is what it's gonna look like. 
Um, they'll show you examples of other people and what they've done and sort of... They can't just take a headshot of mine and just like put like, you know... No, they'll talk through with you like how we want it to look. And But the thing is that you also have to be uh, um, uh, able to donate enough hair to create a full beard. Do they get so, the hair for the beard from the face as well? From or here. From- Oh, from the from neck. Here. You don't have any neck hair. So that's the thing is like it's very particular on how many people can actually get the surgery. Even all your donor hair area, because all your hair comes from the back. Yeah. Where they bring it to the front. And sometimes people just don't have good donor hair. And he says, I, you know, I don't recommend surgery to everybody. Maybe about 30% of my clients I'll recommend a surgery. So you'd have to go have a consultation to see do you have enough donor hair to even create. And the donor like hair that. has to be on the face or can it be in the back, you said? I think there's ways of doing donor hair from other areas, but it's I don't know if it's I don't know if it's gonna achieve the same thing. It's look like a catch two or twenty two. It's well, like yeah. you can't you know what I mean? Get hair unless you have hair. What the fuck? Well, that's- I don't have any hair. That's why I'm asking to get hair. You have plenty of hair on your head. Like Chrissy Teigen, I know she got eyebrow um, transplants, and but I think she got it from a different part of her body, so they grow really long, like regular hair, and you have to like trim them. Yeah, there's something they'll do certain in like a last case scenario, they can take hair from like your back and do that. But usually, what it is, if you're getting hair in your head, they use this hair. If they're getting beard hair, they use that. Yeah, but you can grow a beard. What do you? Do? Mine is like just a Jafar goatee. I've always <laughs> wanted like you know, oh, a like full a, on the a side, full side, and yeah. so I'm like, well, why not? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, so once you get, the, but once you get the operation, I mean that you can uh, you can't undo it. So it's hair is always going to grow yeah. there at that point. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Let's suppose you took a donor from your pubes. You would have the the risk is you would have weird pubes. Pube. You should cut it. Yeah, but it. I would love. I, would, I like that look though. That's the thing. Pubes on your cheeks. Yeah, that's a, that's a cool look. You know, I look like a you know chia pet or whatever. You know what, <laughs> what I mean? I, that'd be cool. Had pubey face. No. <laughs> Get it on your eyebrows instead. <laughs> <laughs> just pube, yeah, yeah. pube eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you audition for SNL or anything like that? No. Oh. Uh, no one. I, I'm told you. No one was like, you know, good on. I don't know. My, There's a million reasons why it could be, or I just don't fit certain people's criteria, and that's fine. I've made a life of my own. Mateo, I'm going to say something to you, and I'm never wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> am I never? Am I wrong? Uh, Sometimes. Not. About, I would say not about predicting people's careers. I'm never wrong about people's careers. Okay. 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 Would you like a reading? <laughs> yes, I would love one. He even has his teacup here. Look at the bottom of the teacup. <laughs> no, I don't, I'm not Discography. <laughs> yeah, you're going to... Um, the, 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 the fame that you have now and the stuff that you have now, it's going to be 20 times more in the next five years. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll get another beard. Yeah, you're going to get film work. You're okay. going to be. You're also going to be... A regular on a streaming TV show that's a hit. Okay. Okay. And um, I see a baby. No, under no circumstances. <laughs> you've, you've read the wrong person. It's okay. That wasn't, no, no, no. That wasn't career based. That wasn't career based. That's right. You are so, wrong so about you the family. No, I, I, I see baby. Oh, really? Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. No. Well, could I, I'll tell you why, though. Under no circumstances. <laughs> why? I do not want children. Yeah, I but I, I will not have children. But. Juan, what's your husband's name? Rodrigo. 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 Sorry, Juan. Juan. He doesn't want him either. <laughs> he doesn't want kids? No. Okay, I'm wrong. You're right. It's not a career thing. But I'll take the other thing. stuff. Oh, you're going to have those other stuff. Oh, okay, the, that yeah, sounds yeah. good. Can but, I still live in New York? Because I don't want to live in Los Angeles. Ooh. Why? You don't want a house? I don't like it here. Why don't you like it here? I like New York. <sighs> you know what? You fucking New York piece of shit. You're so <laughs> arrogant. <laughs> you guys think you're above it. You think you're above it? Yeah, we're on skyscrapers. We're physically <laughs> above it. <laughs> but do, honestly, do you think it's cooler in New York? Yeah, I, I, it's not fashion wise. It's not. I don't care about that. I like being able to. I like the way the city functions. I love urban dense centers. I love the whole vibe of it, and I love doing stand up as much as I possibly want to. Uh, so, and I love the food, and I love bumping into people on the streets, and I love. I I'm so like inspired by New York City. I, I just never get sick of it. I've been there for almost thirteen years now. So in, in LA is gorgeous and I do love houses and but I just I don't have the same it doesn't have the same it doesn't fit for me. I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're right. What? I've never said this before, but it's like I you know the last time I was in New York, I'm like I get it. Same every time I'm in New York. I'm, yeah. And also, like people are nicer there. Yeah. I think like Ni- every- they're nicer in New York. Yeah. They're more on. Everyone's more honest. Yeah, no one's think- talking about their brand or astrology. Everyone's talking about <laughs> life that's physically happening. Wait, so don't you think that there's sort of this like brand new because of TikTok, this resurgence of astrology in general? Like yes, everyone it's so is so insufferable. It's 
insane. I've I never seen someone more self-righteous when you say, I'm a cancer. I see that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did this study a long time ago. I think it was like on some NBC show where they gave everybody the uh, their astrology reading based on their sign. And when asked, they were like, okay, does this speak to you? They're like, 100%, this is me, this is me to the core. But what they didn't know is they were given all the same right. um, readings. Right. And it was the same reading for Charles Manson's birthday. <laughs> really? So, yeah, so it's kind of, you know, it is, it's fun, sure. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. I just, I love Christopher Hitchens. So it's hard for me to go from like who's, laughing. Who's Christopher to, Hitchens? He was an author. He died a couple years ago from esophageal cancer, but he was uh. like a very controversial author writing about. He, the, the last part of his life, I would say, was spent mainly. Uh, debating with religious figures on how dumb religion is and astrology and psychics and all that stuff was about it. So you're atheist as well? I am an atheist. So am I. Yeah. yeah. You, you are too, huh? I am. I've always been for a long time because I grew up super Catholic. No, Same. no spiritual, spirituality. There's a lot of spirituality in being non-spiritual. No, I'm, yeah, I'm asking a question. I'm not, you know what I mean? I sort of view it as like, um, I, I think that certain moments or certain things or certain experiences are sort of an elevated living experience if you want to call that spiritual whether someone's like singing or whether someone's like sharing a moment and, and those are the things that i think should be more focused on like I, I think humanity should be focused on not what's going to happen when we die not what you can't eat this on this day and do that and can't wear this and can't have sex with this person it's like none of that has anything to do with anything and if we just focused on the now maybe we'd be a lot nicer to each other you know Mateo, I had an epiphany yesterday. I've always been a, a, a believer in God and spiritual, I thought. But I've been watching that. What was I watching yesterday? Oh, God. Um, the U.S. and the Holocaust, which oh, is the no. Ken Burns documentary. <laughs> That's the movie he was telling us before. Oh, God. Yeah. On the plane. On the plane. I look over. I, last night I watched that. He had it. tears in his eyes. I finished it last night, right? And um, it's so funny because back in the day, they had America First, which was like this movement. It's the same as MAGA. I think things just kind of recycle. Right. Like, like, Henry Ford was a fucking yeah, prick. Yeah, 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 he was a prick, right? And it's just it's the same thing. Like, yeah. we don't want immigrant, you know? You know and it's like, um, but it's, you know, when all, you know, six million Jews, and in my mind, I, I just, I don't know why I even never thought about it before. I'm like, they're just, and, and you tell the Christians, you, know, you ask Christians, you go, well, um, how could he allow six million people? And they was like, well, it's a mystery. God has a <laughs> yeah, it's a always a mystery <laughs> when you challenge them, but they have very hard facts about who's going to heaven and not. Like, <laughs> let's pick and choose, you fucking psycho. Right. God has a, yeah, God has a plan, right. right? And I was thinking last night, it's like, there's nothing a mystery. So when I die... God will reveal what the mystery is. Why? Why? Why the mystery? It's yeah, like there's he, nothing he can say that's gonna make me go, oh. He goes through all this effort to like sort of like make us like guess. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and what a cruel, cruel, cruel <laughs> God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's God. another yeah, another thing that they say. There was a time where like dinosaur bones. Well, the, Satan did that. <laughs> did he? Yes, yeah, Satan. Satan planted these dinosaur bones <laughs> to deceive us. <laughs> Satan I imagine needs Satan to get carrying some a, better a ideas. bone. <laughs> That's something Skeletor and He-Man would do. <laughs> yeah. Well, He-Man, you bumbling boy. <laughs> yeah, so last night I just had this kind of, and it bums me out because I feel, I have a fear of death. Do you? Yeah. I, that's the one thing I don't have a fear of. Is that weird? You don't have a fear of death? No. What's your biggest fear? Oh, probably people saying espresso. <laughs> There it is, guys. The yeah, truth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't have any fear of death. No. I, I don't want to die in a terrible way, but being dead, but no. Terrible it's... is kind of poetic at the same time. You know, like just being like mangled. <laughs> what do you mean, mangled? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like a bobcat like, 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 <laughs> on a hike or <laughs> yeah. something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, or just that. getting like a chunk of your ass taken out by a monk seal. Like there is oh. something very poetic about yeah. going out in a strange way. In a stra yeah, that's true. You don't want to just die in your sleep. You right. don't want to be Rose from Titanic. Like you want to <laughs> do something Can a little I more with the bobcat though? I was yeah. hiking the other day. You hiked? Wait, you were hiking? Well, I was hiking the other day. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one reason you could have, you would have gone on a hike for a girl. Oh. No, I was by myself. What? I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good reason. Or I'm fucking fat. Fat, man. Good reason. <gasps> All right, that's why I went fucking hiking. I didn't eat last night. That's right. Oh, I'm no. fat. How did I? We fasted together. <laughs> so anyway, I'm in on a trail. 
hiking last week, uh-huh. right? And I go, and you know, I go, I was by myself. You know how you sometimes you see a bunch of like producers on the trail? Yeah. Go, I'm nodding, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah. There was no one. I go, is there, if there's a bobcat, I'm dead. But then I realized, why can't I just, honestly, fetal position, right? Your fetal position, your face is to the ground like this, and you just go into a ball. He's going to nibble at your back, no? Wait a second. I don't oh. think you realize what a bobcat looks like. I think you're talking about a mountain lion. Isn't bobcats that the same are a little bit smaller. They're yeah. a little cuter with a little thing. Oh, yeah, no, no. I'm, let's mountain lion then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even a mountain lion, can you just fetal it? And he, he takes chunks out of your back. I still do a movie. Yeah, that's a bobcat. Oh, they're cute. Oh, those little... are cute. Why is this guy in a ball? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's just slowly walking by like, what a creep. What a yeah, weird yeah, yeah. Korean. Oh, yeah, I mean, right. that thing could still fuck you up, though. It's still fuck you up. Well, sure. What does a mountain lion look like? Those are fucking Those are lions. cougars. Those yeah, are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, puma size. Yeah, mountain lions. Like, like California mountain lions are pretty they're big. They're like yeah. fucking lions. Oh, they're cute, too, though. Yeah, I know, but we have those up there, right? We do, yeah. Yeah, yeah forget that. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. You're fucking dead. There's nothing you can do. No, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, you're out. So, Matteo, good luck in Australia. Thanks, mate. I like <laughs> oh, Jesus. And uh, I would like to see you again. Yes, it would be so fun. And when I come to New York, I'm going to call you. Please. And um, I, I think, you know, you're going to be a, you're a big star now, but you're, gonna be, you're just going to be insane, man, in the next five years, man. Thanks. And um, I love you. Bye. I'm a couple of